friends. So we are outside for the first time today, the first time this year, this season, since winter hit back in, uh, I guess it was early December, it got to be too cold for us to come outside. And where I live, the air quality usually gets really bad in the months of January, February, and March, and we get warnings telling us that we can't go outside because the air quality is so bad. Well, today we have, you can see beautiful sunny blue skies outside and it's still a little bit chilly, but we're coming outside and getting some fresh air and it is much needed in our household. Anyway, it's been a while, so I thought that I would um, give an update. I'm well overdue to give you guys an update of our homeschooling adventure and kind of how things are going in our home. And I am going to be honest, it has been really rough. <laughs> My January especially was just really bad. It got to the end of the month. I almost just cashed it in totally and took another week off, not a planned week off. I just was over my head and I got sick and my kids got sick and things have just kind of not been kind of as I planned. And so we, um, we've been slowly trying to get back on the horse and continue. And you know, it's so funny because when I first started homeschooling back in September, I was very enthusiastic and like all on board and it was going to be this great adventure and I being a public school teacher kind of knew what I was getting myself into that you know sometimes going to work as a teacher I was not super thrilled I didn't really want to go um, there's a really great glare on the Sun that I just realized I'm sorry about that anyway um, I didn't really want to go to work some days but you just kind of power through and after a day or two you kind of are getting back in the in the saddle but um, that did not happen for me in the month of January. It was really a rough month for me. So um, we're, it's February now, or the middle of February, and I am committing to get back in the saddle and keep going. Um, and you know, most of January, our curriculum consisted of um, trips to the museum. I have like a museum pass, so we would invite friends and go to the museum. I would like count that. Uh, we have computer work that we are required to be in quote attendance um, we need a specific number of hours each week so well it's like minutes certain number of minutes per day which then equals like whatever hour but anyway so we have been doing that and then I've been um, trying to get in we have the Christian light education k2 kindergarten two workbooks that I have been um, at least pushing through that. So that's really kind of, it's been really like basic. And you know, I had this like homeschooling realization, I guess, in the last couple of days even that um, I've been, if you've been watching my videos, then you know that I've been doing the workbox system and I've really been filling those work boxes in our daily work from scratch and just whatever I can find on like Pinterest or anywhere on the internet of activities that I can fill based on whatever theme I'm going through that week. And it was really exhausting and it was really burning me out. And I kind of had this realization that as a public school teacher, I am I was required to come up with just not necessarily by the district or anything, but just by the... Um, whatever parameters of the job that I needed to come up with different ways to present the material and different activities every day and keep the kids engaged and interested and it is like that with a four-year-old but I've also noticed that it doesn't have to be as intense I felt like every activity needed to be an art project or end in some kind of like big grandiose activity and uh it, and I'm learning now that I can't physically do that. It is really hard. And in considering um, what our kindergarten year is going to look like, I have been feeling some hesitation these last couple of weeks because I haven't been really able to get through January at a, I don't know, covering the material that I had assumed I was wanting to cover or needing to cover. And I'm beginning to realize that there are so many resources out there that have done the work for me. And yes, it's like a workbook activity kind of a thing. I was really trying to stay away from like an, a worksheet every day for each subject. You know, here's your spelling worksheet. Now do your math worksheet. Now do your science worksheet or whatever. And I was really trying to stay away from that. But in watching a lot of other homeschooling moms out there and kind of trying to explore what my options are, I have just been really encouraged and trying to get back in the saddle. So 
Anyway, our homeschooling adventure has been a little rocky. Um, my YouTube channel, therefore, has been a little sporadic just because um, I guess I've just been exploring and trying to find what exactly my homeschooling journey is going to look like. Um, and I'm also, I've also been sick these last several weeks. I've been just, I don't know just up and down. I can't figure it out. So anyway, we've been trying to figure out what is causing all of the health, whatever, and we're just pushing through. So anyway, um, I am excited about uh, the next coming weeks. I do have plans. We've got Valentine's Day and we've got um, usually in the month of February, we cover like community helpers topics and neighborhood, like where I live and that sort of thing. So I've got plans and uh, we're going to get back in the saddle and, and I have been feeling better. So that's been great. And so hopefully we'll kind of find some answers and be able to push forward so that I can at least have a have more structure in my day. So anyway, I'm glad that um, everything is going better. I wanted to just get on and kind of touch base with you guys out there and let you guys know kind of how we're doing out here in the West. Um, it's, I feel, I feel a little alone in this journey. I can't lie. You know, I've got a lot of um, YouTuber connections and I feel like most of my YouTube homeschooling connections are all on the East Coast. And, uh, and I'm here on the West Coast and it's kind of a little bit lonely. You know, it's funny, I had a friend that just moved here from New York and we were talking about homeschooling just the other day and um, she was mentioning that homeschooling is a lot more prevalent in the East Coast than it is here in the West. So that was encouraging to me that I was like, at least this lonely journey isn't just a thing of me, but it really is. Um, it kind of isn't as popular out here yet. So anyway, so that's our story. That's what's going on. I, I'm so grateful for YouTube and for my little connections that I have out here. Um, it's a great community and I'm so grateful to be a part of it. I'm grateful that you are here and you're a part of my community um, and the kind words and comments that I've been getting. So I appreciate all of that and we will continue to push forward and keep you guys posted on kind of how things are going along in our home and I look forward to hearing how things are going in your home. So make sure you subscribe to this channel if you, if you haven't already done so. You can get more videos and kind of updated on how our life is going here. Um, and like this video if you like it and make sure that you check out some of those other homeschooling youtubers if you're looking for some encouragement there's a ton out there out in the youtubing world and it is very encouraging just to hear that other mamas are out there walking that same road that we're walking anyway have a great day guys mm -hmm.